Hi everyone, Jen here with iBailey Technology Consulting and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on using the global search in NetSuite. So there are quite a few uh, handy prefixes. Um, so here's our list here. You can search for vendor bills, customers, employees, opportunities, sales orders, vendors, and the like. So I'm just going to run through a couple of these so you can see it in action. Um, so first one is BI bill. Um, it's coming up with both kind of the number that I put in plus the number it's given for bills. Invoice 75, comes up with invoice 75. Um, for customer uh, search for a couple of those there's also a wild card it doesn't come up with anything but when we put in the percent sign we get um, the beta max so it's kind of looking for max being contained in, in anything. Um, there's also the underscore wildcard. So underscore X. We're finding, um, you know, anywhere where it could be, you know, uh, N, N blank X at the beginning of a word. Um, you can combine a couple of the wildcards. And so now we have um, an AX or MEX and contain kind of anywhere in client's name. So those are our two um, kind of wild cards. We can use OR. So as we know, a lot of companies are core for OR and they could be ink. So if you use OR, obviously you would get core OR ink. If you want to search for a you know, any kind of entity or, you know, record that might be inactive, you could use the plus sign. So um, I've, I've created an inactive customer, but we can't see it unless we use the plus sign at the end. Um, there's a way to automatically have a client or, you know, a record. There's only one record in your search results come up in edit mode. So here I just did lowercase cu colon abc and got abc but not in the edit mode so I capitalized the c in my global search and now I'm editing the client. Um, if you want to open up a new window you'll just do the colon twice and when you click enter we have a new window. So here I'll call show you guys kind of the list again just uh, just have you guys uh, kind of look at it review it again those are all of the shortcuts you can use two letters or three letters um, you know sometimes it makes sense to type one more letter like exp for expense report or inv for invoice um, but you can use either or even longer like for sales order um, a couple of other shortcuts that aren't, you know, really record related um, are PA for pages. So if you know you want to get to, you know, where you approve journal entries, but you don't want to go through, you know, transactions, management, or financial and, and get to that um, location in the menu, you can type PA colon and, you know, at least a portion of what page you, you would be looking for. So here we have all of the pages of where you can approve um, any transaction type. Uh, PA also is for reports. So um, if you're looking for a saved report or even a standard report, um, the uh, PA colon works also for reports. And then for searches, it's just SE, and you get um, Kind of all of your uh, safe searches. If you are, you know, an administrator or um, 
you know, kind of have access to searches in kind of um, a non-published way, um, you won't always see every search in the global search. So just keep that in mind. Um, some of the uh, private searches that you're able to see as an admin, I'm in the full access mode, but as an admin, you don't, you wouldn't necessarily see in the global search. So you'd still have to go to your your list um, of safe searches. One thing to keep in mind, if you've renamed your records, um, so you know we've been typing CU for customer, but if you happen to change it to client, you would then start typing in CL. So we were doing CU ABC, so now we're getting no results found. So you'd want to do CL for client ABC. And those are our tips for maximizing the use of the global search function in NetSuite. As always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. Just click on the link below to get in touch with us. Thanks. <laughs>